This is the Ilford Sprite 35-2, and it is a reloadable 35 millimeter film camera for 35 bones. This camera is a great option for those of you wanting to get into film photography, but not in a serious way. This keeps it super fun since it's fully automatic. There's literally only one button, so you can't use it wrong. Um, it's super cheap and there's just no bells and whistles. This fully automatic camera has a fixed shutter speed of 1 1 20th of a second and the 31 millimeter lens has an aperture of f9. So it makes this camera really, really perfect for bright daytime scenes. If you are wanting to shoot at night though, say like at a party or something, there is a built-in flash and it has a 15 second recycle time. Now, when I went out to use this camera for the very first time, I made a huge mistake. My first mistake is I went out on a pretty cloudy day. That F9 lens really begs for sun and for bright light, which I did not have. So that was my first problem. My second problem is I loaded the camera with 400 speed film when I really should have loaded it with 800 speed, especially for how cloudy it was to give it a fair chance. Now knowing all of this, I shouldn't have been as disappointed as I was when I got really dark scans back. Only about half the roll was usable, and even those I had to pop into Lightroom a little bit and tweak just because they were still pretty dang dark. But I actually really like how moody these turned out. It certainly is not what I was going for, um, and I definitely learned my lesson, uh, but I'm actually not mad about some of these. The Japanese gardens here in Portland are just absolutely breathtaking. It's honestly hard to take a bad photo, but I love the moodiness and just how nostalgic these scans ended up turning out. Please do not let my stupid user error dissuade you just yet. I did give this camera a fair shot. I waited over a week for a clear, bright, sunny day, which are very rare in Portland winters. And I even waited through a snow and ice storm for this day to finally come. And when it did, I beelined for the coast. the better half of this day taking the scenic route out to the coast and stopping along the way to shoot, which is one of my favorite daytime activities. And this thing was so much fun to have on hand. Not thinking about settings or lenses or anything like that is just so much fun and so refreshing sometimes to be able to just point, shoot, and walk away. It was so much fun. And I will say, when I got these scans back, my heart did a little bit of a dance. 
probably because my first attempt at using this camera was pretty rough, but also because I love how nostalgic these feel. They have almost that like toy camera, like plasticky feeling, which the lens is plastic, so that makes sense, but not in like a bad, kitschy kind of way, almost in like a classic, timeless way. The grain is beautiful, the colors are gorgeous. In some of these, the focus even like blew my mind. I had no idea how this camera was gonna handle focusing and depth of field and all of that. And honestly, some of these shots like look like they came out of a camera that isn't plastic. <laughs> um, so I was pleasantly surprised when I got these scans back. It, it really made me so happy. I love a good like grainy nostalgic photo and that is exactly what we got here. Now that I've seen what this camera can do in the right conditions, I would totally recommend this camera to somebody wanting to get into film, but not wanting to like buy super expensive gear or anything, or even learn the technicalities of it. You don't need to know anything to use this. Um, it's, it's light, it literally weighs nothing. It's made out of plastic, so not heavy at all. So great for like packing in your bag for vacation. It's really cheap, which is awesome. It's simple and it's gonna capture memories in a really nostalgic way. Um, and I think looking back on these photos is gonna feel different than say looking back at like iPhone photos from Cannon Beach. Uh, it just gives your memories a completely different feel. I hope you enjoyed looking at these photos. I certainly had so much fun going out and shooting them. Um, I hope you're doing well and that you are happy and healthy and that your 2021 is going great. Um, that is all I have for today, so until next time.